All right. Welcome, everybody. We got this fantastic, interesting topic today. Uh, by the way, this is Martin Pea and Lance Luke. Uh, we got um, our webinar presented by Expert Media Matters, which is our company that offers business consulting and uh, digital marketing, social media, and all that good stuff. And uh, we're not just people that decided to to do this. We got a good, varied uh, business background. If you see the image, uh, it's me in New York at Times Square today. Um, Times Square Today Show being interviewed, and uh, various other interviews that I had were broadcasted on major networks such as Fox, ABC, NBC, CBS, CNBC, CNN, Bravo, and A and E. And, and a bunch more, but um, then, you know, we're, we're actually national marketing experts, if you don't know that, but you will after we finish talking to you. And why, why do we do this? We, we're presenting free webinars to help small business owners, not only in Hawaii, but throughout the United States and even the world. We're uh, broadcasting worldwide, if you don't know. Um, and we do this to help small business owners and entrepreneurs build, manage, and market their business online or market themselves online. This is part of the Ask the Expert series. And today's topic, believe it or not, is are you struggling on your own when to consult an expert? And a lot of times people either don't want to ask somebody or think they can do it themselves, or maybe they have the don't want the perception of not knowing how to do something. And so they kind of want to do it on their own. For instance, and I'll give you this little story. Um, husband and wife are driving and they're trying to find, you know, their hotel. They're on a trip. And the wife says, um, you know, you know where you're going? And the husband says, yeah. But then he doesn't because he doesn't want to look like he's dumb and use his GPS or look on the map. So they end up getting lost. And then finally, uh, he had to use his GPS. And the wife says, we just wasted an hour. I already told you, you know. So that's a you know situation where the expert would be the GPS, but the husband didn't want to to use it for whatever reason. He thought that he, he knew where he was going, but they ended up getting lost. So before we get started, th today is a you know national day for things. And um, thank you for attending and, and logging on. The national day is uh, National Eat What You Want Day. And believe it or not, it coincides with a National Hostess Cupcake Day. So if you want to eat a host, hostess cupcake or any kind of dessert, you can because it's National Eat What You Want Day. And it's also uh, National Make a Book Day. And Martin and I are actually finishing up, wrapping up. Um, it's going to be our first book of the Ask the Marketing Expert series. And it, the title is Get Known Now, uh, Become, Become an Expert in your field or something like that uh, so it should be out within a month uh, on amazon and it's also national technology day and what does that mean well before they had national technology day it was like using your computer or using uh, technology and i think it's apropos because chat gpt and ai recently came out so i think that you know fits the the national national technology day so let's you know talk about when to consult an expert you guys probably know already right no matter what uh what business you're in there's experts so right now we're talking strictly about uh small businesses in general now if you want to be specific as to uh, when to you know, consult an expert, you already know that 
uh, you know, if you're not feeling good, you get sick or some health problems, you're not going to treat yourself and become your own doctor. You're going to, you know, go see an expert, which is a doctor, right? Same way with uh, your car. If your car is not working properly, unless you're a mechanic and know how to uh, fix your car, you take it in and have it uh, service, right? And you don't, you may not know what's wrong with it if you're not into, into cars. So likewise for any industry, you wanna build an addition on your house or you wanna have some plumbing fix, you're not gonna do it yourself. For instance, um, you know, let's say Martin has some plumbing issues. You, you know, he can call me up and say, well, I got this leaky pipe. How do I fix it? And I can tell him how to fix it. But does he want to do it? Is he a plumbing contractor? Uh, does he have the right tools? Probably not. Um, and so there's an advantage to hiring an expert, which is a plumbing contractor, because that contractor has the right tools. He has the right size pipe. If you need a faucet, if he doesn't have it, he can go down to the store and go pick up one. Um, so these are situations where you're going to hire hire an expert. Um, and as far as business is concerned, you know where are you going to find business consultants? And and you, you might say, well, I don't, I kind of don't want to pay because I don't have too much money. So can I get like a free business consultant? And my answer is yes, you can. There's um, nice people and there's agencies for instance score which is uh, they work with the sba small business administration and you can get business consultation uh, for free they can help you review your business plan your marketing plan uh, they can also help if you know you know don't know where to go for financing and you need to work at SBA. They're actually SBA partners and it's free. You, you get a hold of them and call them up uh, or you got to fill out a form and they need to know what kind of business you're in, what you're looking at, what kind of help you need and all that. So they can assign you a specific score counselor. I was a score counselor for about seven or eight years. And then I got, uh, too busy, uh, but I still can promote score. And then there's also uh, a micro mentor. Um, it, it, it's sort of like a, its own agency. And I think it's connected with Verizon. But anyway, I, I, I also uh, was a micro mentor. And then there's other ones. There's one specific for uh, veterans and these are all free so you just have to you know go go search and uh, find out fill out the form talk to somebody and then in addition to score there's actually other um, agencies that uh, can help and if you contact the city and state um, they have agencies that are specific to helping uh, business owners and then you can get free information uh, from them. Now, they can't be like a personal counselor like SCORE can, but at least they can put you in the right direction. So that's where you get free business consultants. Now, what if you're working with these free ones and then they just can't give you any more information because that's all they can do, right? Then you have to look for paid consultants. And where do you find those paid consultants? Okay, there's uh, Business Plans Hawaii, that's in general. There's also um, other places that uh, are there so that they can help. There's also Chamber of Commerce, they can um, uh, net help network and uh, put you in the right direction, depending on what uh, business you're in. And there's, you know, you can also, uh, you know, look online. And then um, we have Expert Media Matters, which is our own company. And although we're 
we're generally helping businesses in general. We also go into specific industries such as uh, helping uh, construction or contractors, uh, real estate uh, agents, and because that's our, our background is in construction and real estate. So we can really go into the nuts and bolts um, of those industries and then also help with whatever industry uh, is out there, right? So for instance, in SCORE, for example, we have business owners from, from everywhere. Like uh, personally, I was consulting uh, a couple of people who are uh, going to open a bakery, uh, a restaurant. I had somebody contacted me about um, uh, farming and a farm operation. Then I had about six general contractors that needed help with various things from a business plan to marketing plan, how to get more business. Um, we had some health and wellness uh, people. So any business owner who has, who's selling a product or a service, right? And it could be even a nonprofit organization. They can come to us as a consultant and we can put them in the right direction. Whether they need help with a business plan or a marketing plan, or let's say they already have that. And they say, you know, I don't know too much about social media. I'll, all I want you guys to do is help me with social media marketing. Okay, we can do that, right? Or uh, do they need uh, a press release done? Or do they need um, us to help them craft social media posts? You know, what kind of content we can help with that? Uh, do they need help with, uh, you know, writing a book? We can help with that also. So we're kind of like a one-stop shop on a company. But enough about that. Let's continue our um, talking about uh, marketing and uh, business and a marketing plan. So um, are you an expert at all these things, Kate? Okay. Do you know how to research your market? Do you know how to put together uh, your target market, target audience, what the demographics are and all that? Or how about legally starting you know, if you have a, a one-man show company, you're a sole proprietor, but what if you want to get bigger? Or what if you want to uh, form an LLC or a, a corporation? Okay, do you know how to do that, right? So you might need legal help, especially if you're dealing with a lot of contract negotiation, contract documents with specific language okay so for instance if you're a, a photovoltaic company you want to start the company you may need an attorney to draft uh, your contract so that you know you you're not liable for a lot of things okay and then uh, you may need help unless you have a lot of cash you may need uh, help by going to a lender a credit union or a bank you know, to borrow money or at least get some advice, right? So there's all these things that you may need an expert for. So a business plan, uh, a marketing plan, you got uh, market share, product or service, imp implementation, and then manage the results. Now, this is just, I'm just glossing over this, right? So uh, there's, you know, a lot more to this that, the business owners have to understand. And it doesn't matter whether you just open open for business or you're thinking about uh, you know, a side business, right? Or you're you've been around for five, 10 years, or 20 years. It's basically the same concept. And the concept is if you if you cannot do it yourself, if you're not the expert at that, don't try to be and pay the money and look for. The, the real expert, okay. So you wanna be your own tax advisor? 
right? A lot of people do their own taxes and they use um, software for that. But if you, if you don't really know what you're doing, then you're acting as your own CPA. And what does CPA stand for? In this case, it's crappy personal accountant, right? Not certified public accountant. So a lot of mistakes are made because people are doing it on their own. And, and guess what? Have you ever read the tax code? Do you know how many pages are in the tax code? Do you know that the tax code keeps changing? Every time you turn around, the IRS are saying, yeah, we changed this, changed that. Now it's a little different. Well, how do we know what's going on when the accountants can't even keep track? So do you think the average business owner who's trying to run a business is going to be keeping track of the, the latest tax codes, right? So that's where we have to defer to an expert, a tax advisor, somebody who knows what the law is so that you don't get in trouble. And, you know, those kind of people give you advice, could be financial planning, it could be uh, how to save taxes at the end of the year for your business. Okay? And it doesn't have to be a CPA, it could be a bookkeeper, it could be an enrolled agent, but somebody that knows what they're doing because the average person doesn't know about taxes. It doesn't know about the IRS codes and the latest changes and all that. I briefly talked about uh, legal stuff, but um, you know, if you're trying to do your own legal stuff, you may end up giving yourself bad legal advice. And I always say, you can play an attorney on TV, but not in real life. I have attorneys that I go to for specific things. Uh, and it may be just to review a document. I, I may, I, I, I like to play my own attorney. So what I do is I draft like a, a contract myself and a legal contract um, for services. And, you know, I think it's pretty good. And then I don't, I don't just use it. I give it to one of my business attorneys, have them review it, redline it, make changes and all that, and then explain why he wanted to make the change. And then, you know, we, we negotiate. But a lot of times it helps because I realize that uh, when I get into a log jam and I pull up the contract and I go, oh, no wonder this clause is here. You know, I'm glad that it got put in because now I'm protected. I have this, I have that. And um, then when I get, get into uh, problems, then I go to that same attorney or I can go to a different one. But at least you're more protected than, than not. If you try to do everything on your own and and it may be a money issue. Oh, I don't have the $500 to pay the attorney to review this contract. And then later on, uh, you know, there's a conflict with a, you know, high-end client. You might, you might get stuck. And then what if you, you end up getting stuck and it's thousands and thousands of damages that you have to pay. Uh, and, you would have you would have saved yourself by paying the five hundred dollars. So uh, it's worth it, and that's why I always say, and we always say, you gotta you gotta use experts. Like how many business owners are doing social media on their own, and it's not working. Well, that's a idea to me. You may want to consult with experts that do that. You know, every day they're doing that, that's their job. They know what they're doing. So it, it may pay to pay money for experts than try to do it on your own and then things aren't happening or you, you get into a, a legal problem, a tax problem, or your business is not doing good because you're trying to do everything on your own. How about office technology experts you need any of those are, are you capable yourself as a small business owner of building your own website and if you are uh do you have time to maintain it do you have time to go in and tweak it uh you know when you have a new special 
uh, you're promoting a new product or you added on an additional service, are you able to update your website in a day or so? Or you just don't have the time and months and months go by. And then by that time, you know, the special may be over. Okay. So you may need help doing that. How about office software programs? Are you proficient in all the Microsoft Office programs? Do you know how to use Word, uh, PowerPoint, Excel? And now there's all these other, you know, specific proprietary software programs. Uh, do you know how to how to use that? I mean, we have all kind of software programs that we use, uh, not only for building websites, but social media posts and uh, Excel databases and, and all that. So I, I lost track of how many programs that we pay for and, and use, but um, it's it's out there and. Unless you're proficient at operating all of it, you know, you may want to hire experts to help you. Or if your computer breaks, do you know how to fix it? Or, you know, do you have to call a gate to help you? Okay. Then also, if you're a business owner, you may need to, to make charts, graphs, uh, maybe uh, do a webinar or two. How about shooting a video or video editing, right? Um, we don't do all, all these ourselves. Like for instance, the webinar platform that we're on is on, on Zoom. We don't have our own webinar in-house platform. So we use Zoom, right? And then um, we're actually simultaneously broadcasting on Facebook Live, right? So uh, at the end of our webinar, we can actually take that, that, um, that video, right? and if we want to edit it down, we can edit it down to smaller, like snackable videos. But we don't do that on our own. We have to, we have to send it out to somebody who who can do it or somebody who's on our team. So, if you if you can't do all these yourself, you don't have time. Also, then you need to hire people that know how to do it and know how to do it well, and they're not going to charge you an arm and a leg. Okay, so that's my advice to you. And then do you have a um, social media manager? If you're not doing it yourself, you're going to have to have somebody to help you. So social media posts or doing a newsletter, maybe you want to do a blog. I talked about video before, or maybe just crank up flyers. Some, some business owners are, are excellent at making flyers and all that. But um, we don't, Martin and I don't have time to go create our own flyers. I mean, in the beginning, we used to make our own flyers. We used to make our own uh, PowerPoints and you know whatever else is needed uh, to do our work. But then as we expanded, we have to have help because we don't have time to be on the computer doing all of these things ourselves. So, um, so that's what we're doing. So we're we're out outsourcing. We're hiring our own experts that know what they're doing and can help us save a lot of time, energy, and money. And then who are these people? Well, they're virtual assistants, right? So right now, Martin and I have five assistants, and they get a heck of a lot of work done. And we just keep piling work on them. And initially, we started off with one, and that one person got too busy, and she needed to hire her own assistant. So I said, all right, why don't you do that? Um, then I realized that there was more of a workload, so I, we just kept adding more and more workers as, as we need to. And uh, it's, it's, been, it's been very good. It saves us a lot of time, energy, money. Like I mentioned, uh, we just let them know what to do and and they get it done. In fact, um, I have about 50 books that I'm writing in the queue that there's three assistants assigned to mainly work on book editing and um, coming up with um, book covers and all that. So 
it's it's a whole lengthy process and i i can't do it myself i don't have time and I, i'm not willing to do that and martin started off helping uh when we made our two books and then we realized we don't have time and we're not experts at that so we we pawn it off to one of our assistants or two or three and so we're able to get a lot of work done and a lot of work product and all that. So it's been very helpful. And what else do we have here? Okay, so we have our EMM Lucky 7 Tips. And EMM stands for Expert Media Matters. Uh, struggling on your own, went to consult an expert. This is like a wrap up for my portion. Uh, you find free business consultants if you want to not pay and then if that doesn't work and you reach your point you know you got enough free advice and you need more then you find paid business consultants uh, you make a business and marketing plan do not be your own tax advisor or, or attorney okay now if if you if you are uh, a tax advisor or let's say you are an attorney, maybe you can do, I, I know, I know uh, architects and contractors who know how to design and build houses, right? But they're smart enough to know that when it comes to uh, inspection, they call me up to do it. They're not going to do it on their own. Likewise, you know, attorney, he's already an attorney. He's licensed to practice law, but his field is in the field of family law, okay? So when he needs advice on construction matters, he goes and hires a construction attorney. So that's the difference. No, Nobody has big egos. We're, we're too smart enough to have our egos take over and we're gonna do it ourselves, okay? Uh, also, use office technology experts, use a social media manager, and right now, it's just happening. If you're not on social media, how are you marketing your business? Okay. If you don't need to market your business using social media and, and you're doing good, okay, you know, fantastic. We're happy. But if you're not, then, you know, seek out and find a social media manager. It doesn't have to be full time. Okay. And then also hire a virtual assistant. And you may ask, well, uh, why can't I hire, you know, a, a non-virtual assistant? Well, you can, right? The advantage to hire a virtual assistant is that um, you get maybe more work done for less amount of fees to be paid. So, you know, that may be an advantage for the same kind of work, right? And the same kind of work product. And then what you miss, we've given a lot of webinars in the past. It's all on our website. And the topics uh, range from uh, get known now, how do you be, how to be known in your industry, how to be an expert, uh, branding. Uh, we talked about video marketing, website building, uh, a lot of good stuff. It's all on our, every webinar, it's uh, recorded and we put it up for free. You don't need... Uh, Netflix account or anything like that. You can watch all those. And what's coming up? Uh, let me check my schedule here. And what's coming up for the future? We have um, a webinar. Here's the title. Is traditional marketing still an option? Okay, so we're going to talk about that. Uh, the next webinar is uh, 50 video ideas for small business promotion okay 50 we're not going to give you just 10 or 20 we're going to give you 50 different ideas okay the next webinar is our 50 best social media post ideas so likewise we're not going to give you 10 or 20 we're up in the game we're giving you 50 different social media posts a lot of them uh we've been using ourselves so we're sharing with you uh, you know real live factual information and then uh, the next one is awesome small business marketing ideas 
and that's going to be a good one. And then also, um, how to lose customers fast or slow, or maybe medium fast or medium slow. Um, you probably know all that stuff already, but you know that may be a, a primer or just kind of re-educating or kind of letting you know, just try to remember these things. And then uh, content creation, uh, the latest story. So we're good. We're up in the game on content creation for anything, social media posting, your websites, maybe ideas for video, uh, different things like that. And then um, also so social proof and marketing. If you don't know what social proof is, uh, log on and uh, attend the webinar. The webinars are all free and uh, are expertmediamatters.com that's our uh, expert media matters website that if you need to go to uh, the website for attending our webinars and uh, getting takeaways and all that is askmarketingexperts.now.site and that site is getting bigger and bigger because every webinar we do we put the replay on as well as the takeaways like the top 10 tips um, lucky seven you got questions i got answers if you need to get a hold of me my number is 422-2132 email lance luke at hawaii building expert.com now this is the email address that i use for my uh building uh consulting you know inspection and all that um there's actually another one lance luke at Hawaii business building expert.com, but it's too long. So I just use this one, right? And business building, you're like, are you a building expert? Yeah, I'm a building expert, but I also help build businesses. And that's why, you know, Martin and I are the Hawaii business building experts. So we don't want to confuse you too much. Okay. So um, before we talk about uh, AI, and that's like a bonus for you folks attending, we're going to talk a little bit about AI and how it could use, you could use it for your business. But uh, let me back up here and then let's see if we have any questions from the floor or people who are on Zoom platform or on Facebook or, or anywhere. If you're on a Zoom platform, you got to use our uh, Q&A or chat feature. Uh, if you're on Facebook, you make your post on on Facebook, and then uh, hopefully we can uh, address it. But let me turn it over to Martin and see if he has any questions that uh, have come up. Yes, Lance, can you hear me all right? Yeah, good. Okay. Yeah, we've had a few questions that came in, and uh, let me get right to it. Uh, the first one that came in is... Uh, what are some common mistakes that business owners make when trying to handle everything on their own from your vast experience? I don't know how vast, but uh, I can I can tell you from personal experiences and clients that come to us, they're like, uh, somehow I got a letter from the IRS and I owe $6,000 in back taxes and the penalties and on. I'm like, oh, well, what happened? And then I said, you know what you got to do? You got to take it to an expert. So who did your taxes? They go, oh, I did my own. And I said, okay, well, apparently something got messed up. So I referred them to uh, a CPA and then the CPA, you know, reviewed it and everything. Later on, they called back. They said, um, yeah, you know what? That was, that was good. The CPA actually um, filed an amended return because there was some mistakes made, and they ended up getting back three hundred dollars in in uh, in a refund. So you know they called up. They said, "Man, that was the best referral." And I said, "Well, what are you going to do now for next year? You're going to do your own taxes?" And they go, "Heck no! I learned my lesson." So that's that's an example, and then. Another example is uh, uh, a client came and, and and you know showed me this this letter that they got from an attorney um, because they had done business and somehow things got 
messed messed up and and they they said I, I said what do you do they said oh I just responded back and said no you're wrong and I don't agree with you and then then they got a certified letter back and then they're all frantic like I don't know what to do I said you're at the point now where you should have you should have hired your own attorney like months ago, but it's not too late. So now I said, how is it going, you know, acting like your own attorney? And and they told me, well, I thought that because you work with attorneys, you can help me. I said, yeah, I can help you. Here's my help. Here's my advice. You want to hear it? Go get an attorney. They're like, well, I thought you could review this stuff and, and let me know what to do. And I said, okay, so after I review it, uh, and I give you information, what are you going to do? They go, oh, I'm going to take your information. I'm going to write a letter back to, you know, that attorney. I said, no, that's not what you do. You're already in hot water already. So you're, you're beyond the point of acting like your own attorney. And I'm not sure, I'm not going to act like your attorney for you. I don't have a license to practice law. So I have to set these people in the right direction. And they go, oh, well, I don't have the money to pay an attorney. I go, well, do you have the money to pay the penalty uh, that you're asking because you're in default? Well, not really. I said, well, the attorney can help you, right? So these are situations where they got into trouble and they needed to get help. In fact, uh, somebody came to me and said, oh, um, you know, with the pandemic and all that, I." I didn't pay my rent for four months and, and they have a, a retail shop. And I said, okay, so what did you write to the landlord and lay, asking them for, you know, at least a, uh, give you, giving you a break on their, uh, on your lease payments. And, oh yeah, I called them up and asked and they said, yeah, they'll consider it. And, uh, but they have to, you know, they have to get the money for the past rent. And and I'm like, okay, so what do you what do you want to do? Right. And um they're like, I thought with the pandemic, I thought there was some kind of law that uh would relieve us from paying rent. <laughs> I laughed. I said, there's no such a law. You know, there may be a law to help you if you're a residential tenant. If you're living at the place and, you know, maybe the law can help you, but you have a store. This is a commercial lease. There's no uh, obligation for, for the landlord to give you a break at all. But if they're nice, you know, you have to be nice back. You have to be willing to negotiate. You can't just ignore them. And so I said, you need, you need help, right? So I kind of figured on, uh, looked at how much rent they were paying and I said go back and ask for a uh, reduction some kind of percentage reduction but you better be willing to uh, to pay so uh, ask for a rent reduction and then cut a check for those months less 20 percent or whatever and at least you're showing goodwill you're showing that you're willing to to meet halfway right and then you know it it worked but the guy was trying to do it on his own and he was just failing miserably. And he came to me and because I know how to negotiate real estate leases and all that, I told him what to do. And then he called back and said, Hey, I got to take you to lunch. And because he saved thousands of dollars. And I said, well, you're lucky that I helped you. And you're lucky that the landlord was a nice guy. Right. And he didn't, he didn't have to give you a break. He could have, he could have, you know, deposit the check, and he could have wrote you a letter back saying, uh, now I want the other 20% that you didn't pay. But the landlord wanted to help. And, you know, the guy's still in the space and, you know, it's working out fine now. But you don't just put it off and not consult experts, right? And I didn't profess to be an attorney. I was just giving him real estate advice. So... That's kind of a long-winded answer to the question, but hopefully that was of help. Uh, very useful answer. Thanks, Lance. Uh, the next question that's come in here is, uh, how do I determine whether I need a free or paid business consultant? <laughs> okay, sure. So when you reach the point where the free consultant can't help you anymore, that's when you need to start 
looking for somebody uh, that you you have to pay. Okay, you you're already gonna know when you're meeting with the free business consultant and he can't do any more for you because he says, hey, you know, you want me to you, you might you want me to design your bakery? I can't do that. You got to go hire an architect, right? So you'll know and you'll know fast it's not like oh i don't know if i should or shouldn't or whatever you'll know like instantly because you business owners have premonitions and and a lot of business owners are psychic or they have that third eye or it'll just come to you like you know i reached the end of it already i've gotten the help and now i gotta you know pay for professional more professional help what else we got? Thank you. Um, so you get a couple more here. Um, next one is, um, what are the benefits of hiring a virtual assistant? And how do I find one that's a good fit for my business? Oh, good question. Um, do what I did. Interview a whole bunch until you find the right one. And then uh, test them out. Give them, give them tests. Say here's what I here's what I the task I want you to do. I want you to create a flyer. I want you to like help me with a social media post. I, I want you to uh, put stuff on Excel or uh, type out a proposal, and then give them tasks. Let's say uh, I'm giving you this as a test. Uh, get back to me with your work product, and then review it. And if it if it looks like it's reasonable, then you know that's a good sign. But also ask for their resume and all that. We 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 work with our all our, um, our assistants that we work with that Martin and I hired. They all have college degrees and they speak English and they're from the Philippines. They live in the Philippines and uh, you don't have to hire somebody from the Philippines. I mean, there's virtual assistants in India and other countries, but it's it's been working for us and. Every new assistant that we hire, our lead assistant takes talks to all the other assistants. They, they have a team. I don't talk to individual assistants all the time. Right? My main, when I have Zoom meetings, I have the main assistant and then the assistant to the assistant and that's it. The rest, I let them handle it. And, and we give them so much work and, and, and they get it done. And it's it's been working. So if you need guidance let us know and then we can we can help you okay good good experience and good answer um the last question that i've seen here and it looks like it for right now is um can you provide examples of specific industry consultants that i should consider hiring based on my business type hmm. okay all right so real fast if you're a, a contractor in construction a your your consultant. It depends on what you're what you're looking for. If you're looking for uh, help with your financial statements or um, you know financing things and all that, you gotta look for a specific person that does uh, accounting and things like that for contractors. Okay, if you want to get specific, and if it's to do with marketing, then you go to a specific consultant that that helps market contractors or, or, or companies in the construction industry. And, and that's what we do. We help contractors because we know the business of construction, whether it's a um, architect, engineer, or contractor, that's all uh, in, in our game. Same way if you're a real estate agent or broker, if you need help marketing your business, your company in real estate, uh, we do real estate so we can help that we we know the business so you want to find somebody who's who's doing that and has been in that particular business to help you otherwise they don't have a clue right they're going to ask well what does contractors do who's your market audience well you know you don't have time to be training people you have time you only have time to hire somebody that's going to hit the ground running and be able to help you of course you got to guide them a little and and tell them your story and then let them let them take it from there so um that's that and um i before we run out of time i want to talk about ai here so 
um, use AI to your advantage. There's chat GPT, as you know, and you heard all these stories about artificial intelligence and all that. And believe it or not, it's helping us. And how does it help us? Okay, AI, no wondering why. You, you may wonder, well, it helps us with website creation, lead generation, social media posting, blog content, email marketing, and, and much, much more. And um, instead of me talking about it, I'm going to turn it over to uh, Martin and let him talk more about it. He's the he's the AI guru here. Um, he knows more about it than I do, although I probably use AI more than he does. But anyway, uh, Martin, are you ready? I am. Let okay, me, uh, let me let me uh, stop sharing and then you can share what you have and then all right. go do your thing. So here we go. Let me share my screen here. Okay, and let me pull up a little quick presentation. You see it here? Well, what what I'm going to share, and I'm the technology guy. Uh, Lance is the marketing person, and I basically together we've developed a lot in uh, in online marketing. And so I, I just want to share with you what we've been doing, uh, which is the future of online marketing for small for small business owners, and it is here now. And um, we yeah we Lance and I are the expert uh, media matters, and we have a, a super partner in uh, NowSite, and we actually make a lot of use of their marketing system. And this, this is the key to um, the whole AI world. Theirs is probably the an unmatched marketing system. So uh, that's what I want to share with you, how what we're doing and how we're doing it. So um, Lance and I you know, are consistent in what we're trying to do is basically help small business owners, sole proprietors that are struggling to market their business online. And the, the biggest stumbling blocks is, of course, cost and complexity. So we've come up with the solution, us, EMM, and NowSite, help bring the technology, which I specialize, the data of the world, and marketing experts of Lance, myself, and our um, software partners, NowSite, to make online marketing easy and affordable. So it's really the easiest marketing system ever, and it's powered by AI and ChatGPT. Everything now that we do has AI and uh, ChatGPT behind it. So now we're able to do with chat just about any any marketing strategy that you uh, would need. Uh, online marketing from social media posts, blogs, SEO, keywords, branding, and even more, as you'll see shortly. We develop websites and funnels with AI, and we're reaching a point where they'll be building themselves. We do SMS text um, campaign marketing with uh, SMS campaigns that have powerful calls to action and they're totally on demand. We're moving towards the instant generation using AI. Uh, we have our AI on mobile. So you can experience the power of AI in the palm of your hand with our mobile app that we've you know, worked with our software partners, as you can use a voice activation for a real effortless experience. Um, you really need to try it to see how, how simple and easy it is. Uh, and we have a total a lead generation process that's totally automated and effortless. And um, in subsequent presentations, I'll really get into the details of this. Um, uh, our whole process of onboarding is AI powered. And so it's it's much better, faster for getting started with your uh, your business using the software and um, amazing and simple experience. I'm this keep it simple guy. So I really appreciate that, even though I've been in technology for 50 years. Um, you can do email with AI and fully automate your lead generation using email marketing. And the, the big the big, big, big um, feature of our system now is sales AI. And it's the only sales tool to find unlimited prospects. It's find prospects for you. It'll write perfect sales messages and they're customized to your prospect's personality, something that you can't find anywhere. 
and there's nothing in the world that's actually aids that even comes close to this. So uh, right now, the the evolution of the sales AI system is now with the instant sales AI, where the only it's the only sales tool that you can find that that helps you find unlimited prospects. It writes a perfect sales message and customizes your prospects to to your prospect's personality. So it's very custom, very personalized, and it's customized to their personality and instantly on your mobile phone. So the, this is the, the feature that, that we're using most now. I'm using most to basically market market our business, EMM, and anything else we want to market. So that's uh, pretty much what's coming next is Instant Website. An Instant Website Builder that empowers our, any user of it to quickly generate a personalized website using AI-generated content and design based on their business branding. Yeah. And that's that's basically what, what we do. And so um, let me get to my to my site. I gotta get uh, to my actual desktop. Okay, this is this is the that super software that I'm able to use. And it's all driven by Chat GPT, and the latest version of it, which is I think four, four, uh, four is out or coming out, and um, it everything is using AI to do all the the marketing strategies that you would ever need. And I'm just showing you here. I mean, this it, this this is the general uh, AI chat that's. Uh, within this uh, system and platform of ours. And I just kind of wanted to show you what, uh, I had a Zoom call yesterday with, with uh, some friends. And so we were um, uh, discussing about movies. Just, just to let you know that, I mean, you can use this uh, AI and chat for anything and everything. But anyway, the, que the question came up in our Zoom discussion was, well, who were the Dirty Dozen um, you know, actors in the movie, The Dirty Dozen? And uh, so I said, oh, let me ask my our, uh, AI. And so what it did is it, it came up with the, the movie, all the actors, because they were trying to name the actors in, in our discussion. And it came up with the answer, you know, almost instantaneous. And so that, that was just one of the examples of what we use it for. And, and the reason I bring that up is I actually use, I've always, I've used for a long time, um, the Google Assistant to do a lot of R&D for me, research and development as we're working together. And um, with chat, um, GT, GPT and the AI, I'm able to do the same thing and even more. So that that's um, that's a, a little thing to understand with the, the AI and the chat. I mean, it's built into the system that this marketing system that we use um, almost, well, not almost for everything actually was used in the background to help develop um, websites and things for uh, Lance and I as we were um, customers in the early days of, of uh, their development. And now it's actually been available to customers to use the AI to build and do whatever they want. So that's, um, that's kind of what I wanted to share really that AI and the, and the chat GPT version of AI from OpenAI is really a tool that's taken, you know, taking online marketing and basically the internet and all the information that's been gathered over the last 20 years now to be able to use that for, you know, the, the marketing, small business marketing that we do now. So I just, you know, I just wanted to make that introduction and uh, actually show you how, you know, how you, how you get started with the system. And it's basically, setting up a business profile. And so what you do is you ask, you can ask, uh, I mean, you, basically it'll ask you to add a new profile and, and, and this is your business. And what I realized today from uh, my meeting with the, the marketing VP of our software partner now site, I mean, you can use it and build profiles for real specific markets of your particular industry. It's, it's a tool that is gonna, you know, used to change how, how you do your marketing and not only simpler, but more quality marketing that you accomplish. So 
And, and this is how you, you start your business with using your software. You just need to identify your business name and a brief description of your product. I won't I won't go into doing it, but that's um, how you do it. And, and and here's well, these are some other businesses that I'm doing. But for Expert Media Matters, which is our business, you know, it it helped when I provided the name and and the description of what we do. We came up with a very good business description, and that's what the AI and the system does. It helps you to build all these things from your business description to your website, to your email campaigns, to your social marketing campaigns. And that's that's really the, the, the value of this. Is any startup, anybody wanting to just start a business and has an idea of what they want to do, you can use this to create your business from scratch. Yeah. So anyway, I, I think that's all I wanted to really share at this point. I know we, we are running out of time, so maybe I, maybe I can... Uh, Answer any questions you have, or if any, I don't know if we've got anybody out there uh, viewing us still yet here, but uh, hit me, Lance. How's that for an intro? Yeah, that's good. So I like to tag on to that. Uh, aren't uh, aren't we planning to do just an AI specific webinar uh, in a couple of weeks? Uh, I think so. Yeah, the twenty twenty uh, fourth. And I, I think we're actually going to be starting to add another weekly uh, webinar for. Uh, we're going to add months. another weekly webinar. I mean, not weekly, bi-weekly, every two, twice a month. Yeah, right now we just do it kind of monthly. Yeah, so uh, I think down the line maybe we'll uh, see about doing it more frequent. Yeah. Okay. Good. Because I got um, uh, inquiries from people. Um, mm -hmm to talk more about uh, AI and what what it can do. And then also the difference between, uh, you know, there's a free chat GPT, uh, the difference between that and uh, what uh, what we offer. Yeah, because mm -hmm. ours, think, ours is not free. No, well, ours is not free, but the, the free chat GPT, you actually get, uh, I mean, I think, I'm not sure what it's because I, I tried it in the beginning. I haven't kept up with it. And I know you, I think you get for 20 bucks or something, you can get a non free one, which basically gives you all the capabilities of the Chat GPT. The thing about ours, the Chat GPT OpenAI's complete platform is, is um, integrated into the, uh, this marketing system that we use. I mean, and it's, it's, you know what that's what we do right we're we're doing marketing with this system but uh yeah it's it's included and like i said i mean i'm using it to do other other uh ai uh, search information and requests and all that so i mean i i'm not sure what what the, the the question was in terms of that but i mean it's it's the chat gpt and um it, it will be kept current and updated through our software partners so that uh, I think in the near future, if not already, we'll be getting uh, that GPT-4 as part of the system. See, So that's the thing, is you have the, the latest chat GPT within the system to do all the things that you need to do for your online marketing, but it's also there to be able to do other, you know, other things. Because I know of others using this, including the now site uh, um, um, leaders, I mean, they're using it for all kinds of other uh, Personal personal uh, use of the the AI. I mean that's and they're using the mobile version, so you can get answers to whatever you're looking for and need quickly uh, with the uh, with the mobile AI. So th uh, did that answer the question? Len? Yeah, yeah, that's good. I'm looking forward to doing the next one that are that's uh, you know specific to AI. We can talk about all the different things that AI can do to help uh, small business owners. Okay. Okay. So uh, maybe I'll just stop share. We kind of hit our, our time or did you? Did yeah, you yeah, I stuff? think we're good. I think we're good for today. And um, thank you, Martin. And uh, thank you, everybody else who is on the uh, webinar on Zoom and Facebook. We're going to keep doing more of these. Uh, the, the whole intention is to sm help small business owners. Right. We're small business owners ourselves. And we want to let you know what we're doing and how we're using um, AI as a, a useful tool 
and you know we like to share our experiences and you know, hopefully it helps helps everybody uh, small business owners who who really need the help and you know by the way uh, since I have uh, one minute left or my clock is a minute slow I really don't have a minute left but that's okay I'll I'm let everybody sure. know that we're we're actually developing uh, an online directory for small businesses and it's called uh, best Hawaii business directory and you're going to see it come out in maybe a month or two but if you want to be listed in that directory and remember the yellow pages is sort of like that um, but it's it's way going to be way better uh, if you want to be listed in that directory, uh, give us a shout out. Uh, we're going to need your, your name, company name, uh, email address, and phone number uh, address, and, and that's it. Um, right, right now, we're setting up the portal where business owners can go online and, and just fill up the information, and they could have a listing on their own without having to go through us. So um, that's just a, a heads up. And, and we're doing this to help businesses in Hawaii because a lot of them are suffering and uh, we're just doing it to kind of up the game and get all small business owners more business. That's, that's our intention. So, uh, and, and it's free. There's no, you don't need to pay. Okay. Um, the listing is free. If you want an upgraded listing, then that's where you pay, but we're not really trying to promote that now. We're just trying to get all our uh, slots filled. There's a whole bunch, and, and by doing research, there's a whole bunch of business owners who aren't, aren't in any listing, any directory, and, and we, wanna, we wanna help those people too. So anyway, you'll hear more about that later. Uh, uh run out of time here so on behalf of martin and myself and uh ask the expert uh, webinars we thank you for attending hopefully we'll see you soon uh go to our website and watch the previous uh, webinars uh it's informative if you want to hear about other topics um, drop us a line and we'll consider those as well martin you're you're up for it right of course. Yeah. Always, okay. Always up for new challenge. Okay. See, he's up for new challenges. So we'll sign off for now and hope to see you uh, at uh, in a couple of weeks. Yeah. Aloha. Aloha. Oh, I have to stop recording. <laughs>